Marijuana is becoming more integrated into our societies and becoming a form of medicine rather than a gateway drug. This plant has become legalized in 10 states already and in the District of Columbia, according to Governing.com State Marijuana Laws in 2018 map. As weed climbs higher and higher into the respective state of being legal, there are still some states who have not fully or even partially accepted marijuana. And that will soon be changing because of the safe and miraculous properties the drug can portray to non-abusers. If people can refrain from abusing this drug and making it into anything other than the THC and CBD contained in the plant, then this should be widely legalized to provide medicinal and recreational benefits for society. We can be seen as many things, but to states that do have this drug ban fully or from recreational purposes, their view on marijuana includes the idea that it is a gateway drug. Its properties are not as useful as have been medically proven, and that it can be a cause of death. However, I will be refuting the science behind the opposite of each one of these claims. The problem presented to us, the citizens of marijuana banned states, is that we are punished for participating in a safe and, med and medically approved activity that is legalized elsewhere. This creates an irony that we could visit California and indulge in THC, the main activating component of marijuana, but if we were to return to our states, then we could be potentially re reprimanded by the law. The significant harm of this is that citizens of these banned states who could be aided by the properties of marijuana or neglected that opportunity. According to the Cannabo Medical Clinic, marijuana can be prescribed for people who suffer from multiple sclerosis, a disease of the brain and spinal cord, spinal cord injury, which can apprehend the motor skills and movement of certain parts of the body, the loss of appetite and nauseating effects of cancer treatments, HIV slash AIDS conditions, and many more illnesses. You can visit CannabomedicalClinic.com for the rest of the list. Another significant problem concerning the legalities of marijuana is that a majority of people have been convinced for years that it is a gateway drug to the hard drugs such as cocaine, heroin, and meth. The only way for this to be possible is if an addiction occurs to marijuana. And the only way for this to become possible, according to DrugAbuse.gov, is when the brain adapts to large amounts of the drug by reducing production of and sensitivity to its own endocannabinoid neurotransmitters, this creates a dependency on the functioning after indulging in marijuana. However, this disorder is only common in 9% of people who use marijuana, and it isn't even identified as an addiction, but rather a marijuana use disorder. Besides the idea that it is a gateway drug, there are notions that one can overdose on marijuana or die from it. The problem with this is that you cannot overdose on THC alone, which means dying from marijuana is unlikely unless there is a specific situation. This would include laced weed, which contains hard drugs blended into it, THC or the effects of the drug cause somebody to have an accident, but Death is not a cause of the activity of smoking, eating, or vaping THC. The problem of marijuana being illegal can be attributed to the control of customs, particularly Mexican customs that, according to drugpolicy.org, had introduced marijuana to the United States in the first place. Since then, marijuana has been used as a way to keep society banned together in defiance against drugs. That surprisingly, we're already in most of their medicine cabinets labeled as cannabis. This is caused by several inadequacies in the present system. One being the long history of marijuana's bad drug aspect. Since the 1900s, this drug that introduced a whole new world of medical possibilities and the plus of relaxation has been pronounced illegal. So many people have become accustomed to marijuana being a bad drug that they do not want change or do not see that it could be helpful. Largely, the legal part of it has been a block for the growth of marijuana communities in parts of the United States. While the drug is illegal, many people still participate in the activity and could end up in very serious trouble. When someone is caught for marijuana and it is broadcasted, this strikes a fear in others. And that keeps them from wanting to try marijuana or argue against the law and it spreads and silences the whole entire state. The problem will continue until corrective action is taken. 
With people being caught and thrown into jail or strict probation for the possession of this drug, it leaves people to decide whether they would like to take that risk. Most people will say no because they have a family, job, or life to lose from it. It is mostly left up to young adults to argue on the behalf of this drug. And the generation above them usually do not expect the youth to know what is right, so the motive is not there to overturn the law. Aside from the risks, there are people who are against the legalization of marijuana and believe in the stoner stereotype. Imagine Shaggy from Scooby-Doo and apply that to every person who chooses to participate in the activity of using marijuana. This obviously is not a true statistic, but there are people that do believe it can cause a change in behavior to turn out dumber, more oblivious, and careless. This does not apply to everyone because everyone gets a different effect from using marijuana. Because this is such a significant problem that is being dealt with inadequately in the present system, this solution will significantly reduce the problems I have identified earlier. It will reduce the suffering of people who can be aided by the properties of THC. According to CannabisMedicalClinic.com, this drug, when legalized, will assist with reduction of pain from illnesses, lack of appetite, increased response from damaged parts, and put an ease to many more symptoms. If this drug is made legal, then it's taken out of the same legal category as the hard drugs. The approval of this drug will be an inference that it is not a gateway drug and less abused. It is only a small difference in the system, but it can aid in the persuasion that marijuana will not automatically lead to addiction or worse things. I believe we should accept the legalization of marijuana so that people who need it for medical purposes or simply use it to enjoy may be able to do so without a prison sentence. And if a wide span of people can use it, then it would prove to doubters that the effects are perceived very differently to different people and can even help to open their minds to the possibility. Marijuana can be legalized if we all contribute to our society and make a change to our state government. If they can see that we all want change and can benefit from its properties, then there will be a better chance they will consider overturning the law. Turning people, not just the law, is important too. In order to send a message to the government, then the community must be involved in unity. This includes explaining the benefits, having factual statistics, and encouraging the idea that marijuana is not a drug, but it is a plant. As well as changing the government and opposing parties' minds, there has to be a change in the people who wish to legalize marijuana. It is understandable that people who support this plant can create this wrong idea by landing themselves in trouble with the law. It is safe, but only if we stay out of trouble. Without the idea that marijuana is safe, then there is not a big argument on why the government should change their laws. Being legal does not necessarily mean marijuana cannot kill you outright. But as I said before, the murderous aspect of this plant involves being laced. Those drugs that are laced in THC are illegal, and that gives them no substantial argument against the legalization of weed. By legalizing this plant, it will make it clear that it is not the marijuana that does the killing solely. Let's take a look at the future. A life without the legalization of marijuana in the many states where it is banned could produce a future that is full of sick people with THC treatable sim symptoms not receiving help that is a state border away. There will be riots and eventually people who support weed will come together to change the law. And if this doesn't bring change peacefully, then there will be resorts to violence, maybe even a civil war. However, when and if the states legalize this plant to be a recreational and medicinal use, there will be an outbreak of joy from the people who have been locked up for the simple possession or use, people who have not indulged because they are scared to defile the government, and probably many of the officials seated in our very own government. Many people will receive the medical treatment they deserve and desperately need, and people will be able to attain it more easily for the purpose of whatever their heart desires. The plant would be free. The advantages of enacting this solution outweigh any negative effects. There are several advantages. The people mentioned beforehand with the critical illnesses from the Cannabis Medical Clinic will get treatment like never before. According to CannabisMed.org, we can cure nausea, anorexia, spasticity, movement disorders, pain, glaucoma, epilepsy, asthma, withdrawal itself, inflammation, and psychiatric symptoms. Also, with weed being legalized, there is less tension between the users and the police. 
there's always been a major issue between weed and the police. But with the law legalizing marijuana, police are allowed to focus on more important jobs, such as looking into murders, thefts, or assaults. Some people say that there are disadvantages to my solution. Some people say that laziness and damaged brain cells in the youth will result. They are wrong because weed can heal, and it does not affect all people the same. Yes, some people appear lazier, but the effects last a couple of hours, and some people get more focused. Some people say that the new laws for the legalization of marijuana would have too much of a gray area, that there are not enough boundaries, like driving under the influence, or the amounts to be possessed, and the law based on selling and purchasing. They are wrong, because there are ways to grow the plant, because it is from the earth and about production. There would be dispensaries to assist with medical marijuana licenses and just plain users. It would open up job opportunities and it would be safer than the system we have now with drug, with drug dealers and cash under the table payments. My solution is the best solution. Some people say we should try to remain below the law and continue the system we have now without taxes and the laws that would be produced to limit marijuana production and use. My solution is better than letting marijuana remain illegal because then quite a few people will never get the chance to try it. Take an old lady, for example, that has issues with her appetite. She is not going to purchase from a drug dealer and the dispensary would be a less of a hassle and within the law. Marijuana being legal would be the ultimate success for users who have remained below the law and keeping its properties in the dark from those who will not take the risk would not be fair. On a side note, it would be an abomination for cigarettes to remain legal while marijuana, which contains medical advantages, continues to be the bad thing. The plant marijuana is not a gateway drug. It has plenty of benefits and healing properties, and it has never had one natural overdose or actual case referred to as an addiction. In order for marijuana to be legalized, the simple solution is a message to our government peacefully, a message to the citizens that are thoroughly opposed, and a change in the users that are not complying with the law to convince others that marijuana can be safe once it is legalized. We must work together to legalize this plant. If not, the states will not notice our value in this change. Everybody should be using their first right and amendment as citizens of the United States to speak out about marijuana. Hold peaceful meetings about change, send petitions, Send petitions to our government and endorse marijuana through our attitudes by persuading the rest of the state. Marijuana is a positive plant for our society. The benefits are endless. And besides it being a plant, there are so many options to choose from to use, which, she, which should be promoted widely throughout the United States for economy and a positive social change. Marijuana legalization could be the very thing that modernizes our states for the better.